How is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. If you want to keep on seeing more of this playthrough, make sure you drop a like on this video. Um, and you guys voted for me to play as Bowser. And you also voted for me to use the Flame Flyer. And let me know down in the comments below. This is the final cup of the Mario Kart Wii tracks. Let me know down in the comments below. What character and cart do you want me to use for the Shell Cup? I would love to know. Since we're going to do the Special Cup now. Um, which is the final cup of the Nitro Cups. And this cup is the most difficult cup in the game. I do have to say this. It is the most challenging cup in the game. This first track is actually not too, too difficult. You just have to be cautious around here for this first track. Like, there we go. Here we go. Do not. I was about to use the bananas for my perfection. I was about to use them to perfect everything. I'm in second place, really. I need to get back to first as quickly as possible. You can speed run this track if you know what you're doing. If you get if you get incredibly lucky, you can speed run it. Yes, you can speed run it. Ah! Don't! I'm down to fear. Down to nine. I'm doing terrible. I suck. I suck. I'm bad at this game. There we go. I'm glad I used that blue shell right there. Because the blue shell only goes to the first place player. For some reason, they're already wanting to make it difficult for me. And it's just the first track of the special cut. And like I said, it, I said it wasn't even that difficult, but they're wanting to make it difficult for me because they're wanting me to lose. And I want to win. So I'm going to have to put the pressure on myself in order to win. Because I have to win every track for this whole playthrough. Because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to get first place on every single track throughout this whole playthrough. And, and that is not easy to do. I haven't been able to do that with practice. Gosh, why am I struggling so hard? I want to do really good. Like, I mean, nearly perfect. I want to do, be able to do things nearly flawlessly. To where I don't make any flaws whatsoever. I was lucky I did, I did not bump any bats because. There's quite a bit of RNG in Mario Kart that can really screw you over. And you can screw up very easily. No matter how good you are in the game, you can still screw up really easily because of how much RNG there is in Mario Kart. You just never know. Uh, sometimes you might get bad luck by people throwing lots of items at you. Ugh! You don't have perfect control over your movement in Mario Kart. I would love to see people speedrun Mario Kart. We got first place. I plan to get first place on every single track throughout the whole playthrough. That is my goal. That was the first track of the special cup. Now we're going to the second track. 
The special cup is the hardest cup of the entire game. It counts both the nitro and retro, retro cups. Now this is the hardest cup of both track, of both versions. All right, here we go. Once again, your visual cue to start holding two is when the number two dissipates. That means once the number two disappears. I'm saying that just in case if you're watching this playthrough as a guide. I'm not sure who would watch it as a guide, but still. That's the only reason why I wanted to mention that, just in case if you was watching this playthrough for some reason as a guide. Just in case if you're watching it for some reason as a tutorial. That's why I wanted to mention that. I'm making it only for a playthrough. Let's make sure the LP curse don't get us. It's not got us yet so far, but the LP curse. I've practiced some of these tracks off screen in, in, time, in time trials. So I should do pretty decent, because I am pretty decent at, at the rest of the game. It's just, it's just when it comes to the final track of the Special Cup, which is Rainbow Road, that's the track that gets me at times. I'm decent at the rest of the game. I'm not going to lie, but still. It's just that one track that gets me at times, no matter what I do. Like, you can get bad luck and fall off. Like, you have no control over it, not to fall off or not. And it's a track you have to play with precision and perfection and execution and stuff like that. first the whole time. I, I can't, I hate that I'm in second. Or, thankfully I'm back in first. Thank God I'm back in first. Don't you do that. throw all kinds of items. I'm getting bad luck. I'm getting bad luck today. I'm getting bad luck for them throwing lots of items. And for me not getting items I want. Finally I got good luck. Cause they've been giving me bad luck lately. His me view highway right here. Don't! If you do that one more time. They're wanting to do it over and over again. I wish this game had a pattern. I wish it had a pattern that you can learn. I wish... I hate that things are random in this game, but... I wish I had a pattern for me to learn. I wish there was a perfect strategy for getting first place. That would be very nice, but... Sadly, it's just if you win, you win, or if you lose, you lose. I would love to see people speedrun Mario Kart. I'm not a speedrunner at all of this game. I do want to tell you guys this. I'm a much more casual player in this game. Alright, we're going to do Bowser's Castle now. I love this track right here. This has been one of my favorite tracks. I used to be scared of this track when I was little, but I'm not scared of it anymore. Because I'm a 19 year old man now. Listen to this music. It's so epic. It doesn't sound epic or what. It's epic in so many ways. It really reminds me of the Melty Monster Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. No! What? What the heck? What the? What the fucker Kagan was that? I'm really doing bad. I suck at this game. Like I said, I'm not very good at Mario Kart. I'm, 
I mean, I'm decent with Mario Kart Wii, well, with Mario Kart 7 in this game. Oh my gosh! I am really sucking at this. See, it's all about luck. It's not always about how good you play, it can be about luck, too. Because I am sucking! I need to get that game face on! Oh my lord! What was that? I didn't want to show you the Mega Mushroom. This one's awesome. This is only 50cc and I'm struggling. They did a good job picking their appropriate character for playing in a special cup, which was Bowser. Thank goodness I'm back at first only for a little bit. No! Why am I struggling? I'm normally not that bad. Why am I? Why do I suck at Mario Kart? A lot of people say Mario Kart ain't even that difficult, but... Why do I suck at it? I don't know why. I guess I play Super Mario Galaxy so much. And I know how much easier that game is than this game. If you watch my Super Mario Galaxy playthrough, you'll know how easy that game is in comparison to this game. I'm not saying Mario Kart Wii is difficult by any means. I'm not saying it's super difficult or anything. Uh, it's just Mario Kart Wii just has a lot more randomness and stuff like that. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy, you can get through it in a breeze. Like, Galaxy is so easy, you can get through it in a breeze. Like, Mario Kart, you have to get lucky in order to be able to even have a chance to win. Excuse me. So far, we've been getting first place on every track. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just wanting to go at me like crazy. There is no perfect way for me to win. All right. Oh. I hate items! Especially if I'm about to win. Especially if I'm trying to win. If you keep throwing more items, it's time for me to smash the weird mode. I'm just telling you this. And you was about to there. You was being a maniac. You was being a jerk! Quit being such a freaking jerk. Thank God that we won. I'm really thirsty because this is difficult. I can't be too surprised myself for me sucking a little bit and struggling a little bit. This is the last cup of the Nitro Cups. Here we go. Rainbow Road, the hardest track of the game. It's a track kind of like the perfect run from Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's a level where you have to play with precision and execution and perfection and stuff like that. And here we go. Let's rock it. Three, two, one, skadoosh! Alright, I'm probably not going to commentate too much on this one because this requires precision in every turn you do. Because you have a tight window for every turn you do. You have like a 5 frame window for every turn, every turn you do. And this game runs 60 frames per second, of course. Just like most games. Eh, I should have kept that behind me just in case they throw items at me. But I doubt they'll throw many items on Rainbow Road because I don't usually throw a lot of items on it. But... See how sharp these turns are? And see, you have very little room for a mistake. See? See this? See how difficult this track is? You have to be nearly perfect to beat this. Don't throw the blue shell. Blue shell. 
Please don't come near me. It's gonna come near me anyway, cause... I'm getting bad luck today. That's the thing about the special circuit, they do throw more items at you. That's the thing about the special cups, they do throw more items at you. No! Get me in first, and I wanna stay in first for the rest of the track. Oh my gosh. I suck at this game, like I said. I suck. Just cause I can't stay in first place every time. See, I even have to slow down to make these turns because of how sharp they are. But I do say this, this track does look epic, because you're in space. And I love how epic it looks. Oh, oh my gosh. You can fall off very easily on Rainbow Road if you don't know what you're doing. Alright. I don't care how good we're doing. I do not care. All I care is that we get first place. I don't care if we're doing perfect or not, because I am not 100% perfect at this game. I already know I'm, I already know I make mistakes every now and then on this game. I already know I'm not 100% perfect at it. So I don't care how good I do. All I care is that I win. Because that's my goal throughout the whole playthrough, is to get first place on every single track. And you can get bad luck sometimes. Sometimes, no matter how good you're doing, you can still lose. You can, you can still do good enough to do the strategy that will get you first place and still lose. I was lucky that not fall off. See, like I told you. You have to be tight with your turns and everything. This is tough. This is a lot harder than I anticipated it to be. This is a lot harder than even why I anticipated it to be. This is really difficult right here. This is way, way more difficult than I anticipated it. And... You destroyed me?! What the heck?! I'm glad we won. Thank God that we won and got first place on every single track in the Nitro Cups. I was lucky. How long takes in my drink? Because... I can barely do it. And enjoy this cutscene coming up. Thankfully, I got a two-star rank on every single cup of the Nitro Cups. And win lock. And win lock, baby Daisy. Win lock, baby Daisy. Do we unlock anything else? Yes, we do. The Piranha Prowler. What else do we unlock? Or do we unlock anything else? Oh, we don't. That's okay. I don't care what we unlock. Excuse me. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and let me know down in the comments below what character in cart do you want me to use for the shell cup. 
and have a good one, and have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.